Hey there, folks! Welcome back to Product Critique, where we dive deep into the latest tech to give you the real scoop. Today, we're taking a close look at the Microsoft Surface Go 4 for business. Now, this device has been making some waves in the market, but does it live up to the hype? Let's find out. First off, let's talk design. The Surface Go 4 looks sleek and modern, with a compact form factor that's perfect for on-the-go use. It's got that signature Surface style, but unfortunately, it's not as rugged as we'd like for a business device. Plus, it's disappointing that Microsoft didn't make any significant changes from the previous model. Now, when it comes to ports, the Surface Go 4 is a bit lacking. You've got a single USB-C port, an audio jack, and an SD card slot. And get this, you can only charge the device through that USB-C port. So, if you want to watch media while charging, you'll need to invest in a pricey docking station. Performance-wise, the Surface Go 4 leaves much to be desired. It's powered by an Intel N200 processor, which falls short in both single-core and multi-core tasks. And don't even think about gaming or 3D modeling. This device just can't handle it. One of the biggest drawbacks of the Surface Go 4 is its lack of accessories. When you purchase it, you only get the tablet and a power supply. No keyboard, no stylus, nothing. So, if you want to use it as a laptop, be prepared to shell out even more cash. Now the question is so, where does that leave us? Well, the Microsoft Surface Go 4 certainly has its drawbacks. It's expensive, underpowered, and lacking in accessories. While it may appeal to die-hard Surface fans or those who prioritize portability above all else, there are better options out there for business users. And that's a wrap for our review of the Microsoft Surface Go 4 for business. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more in-depth product critiques. Until next time, this is Product Critique signing off.